Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Virtual Skills and I am Latiful Vari with you. Hey guys, today I am going to show you how to animate a scene using Camtasia Studio. Ok here, I have a simple animated scene. You see, I have made this 2D animation scene in Camtasia and now I will show you how. So open Camtasia Studio, import medias. For this tutorial, I have downloaded these medias from online resources which are royalty free and I have also attributed them properly. You can check in the description. Anyways, no more time wasting. Let's dive into the deep. Now drag the background scene in your timeline first. Then I would like to have this car here. Adjust the position of the car. I'll put it outside of the scene because I want the car to dive into the scene. After setting the starting point, click on animation here and drag and drop custom effect on this pin. Now drag the car across the scene. It is the path where the car will dive. You can see the arrow of the car pick in the timeline. Stress it to the set of timing of your motion. Now play. You see it's moving. Then I will take this sports car. It's not transparent, so I have to remove the background first. For that, select it and go to the visual effects. And add remove a color effects on this car. Go to the properties and get the color picker and click on the peak from the nearest point of the car. Ok, it's transparent now. Now follow the same procedure like before. Now play. You see it's moving. We'll add another car to the scene. So let's take this one. This peak also has a background. So remove the background like before. Oh no, the wheels are gone. What shall we do now? Let's get the wheels first. For that, I have downloaded a wheel. Let's input it. Put it just on the upper track of the car. Now adjust the size and set it in the right place. Watch carefully. Here is the main trick for rotating a wheel. Select the wheel, go to the animation, add custom effects to it. Now we will show the path. Just hold the rotate point of the wheel and rotate it first. Like this. Now drag the animation arrow to the timeline to its full length so that it always rotates. Now play. You see it works. Now copy and paste it for the other wheel and set it perfectly like before. Now play. You see it's moving. Hold the control key and select the car and the two wheels. Now right click on it and make it a group. Now set the starting point of this car and add custom effects to the group. Follow the same process as before to move the car across the scene. Now play it. It's perfect. Let's play the whole clip now.
I think the last car is driving along. I want this in the traffic. So I will move this and place it on the upper track of this second car. I will place it at the last part of it so that it can appear before the second car disappears. Okay, don't you think our scene is not complete? It's a little bit empty. Let's add a cloud to the sky. Just like before, add the cloud on your timeline, adjust size and place in the canvas. Now add custom effect and show the path. Now play it. Not bad. Ok, let's add a flying bird in the scene. We have an eagle here. Drag it on the timeline. This file is too small. It will not stay much time. But I want this bird to stay for a long time. As it is a GIF file, it is not possible to extend it. So I will copy it and paste it side by side to make it long. Ok, it will do. Now I will select all the 4 files and make a group like before. Then follow the exactly same process, adjust size and place in the canvas. Add custom effect and show the path. Now I will play the total animated scene. Let's detach the canvas to get a better view. Wow, it looks really good. I am going to finish this tutorial here. Thank you so much for being with me. Hope you will love this video. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. I will come back with something new in my next video. Till then, tata. -ta.